All right, guys, before we jump into this video, I want to ask you a simple question and something that we are always wondering. We're trying to find a lot of information that to help you even more. Uh, what are you trying to improve at this moment? Like, what's the most important thing that you're trying to improve in your game, whether it's your forehand, back, and get generating top spin, getting your footwork better, or your serve? Please come in the link below. We want to know what you need and we're going to try to help you more specifically in the next videos to try to help you exactly what you need to work on. But now today's topic is shorten up your big backswing. And uh, from my own experience I've played when I was a junior, I always thought, you know, if I get a bigger backswing, I can generate a little more power and put those balls away. Really, it's not true. If actually, shorten up your backswing is going to help you to time the ball better, get the point of contact in the same place, and you can actually put away more balls that way. So we're going to give you simple drills today that are going to help you so much to improve your game and shorten up your backswing, improve your forehand so much. You can also apply those uh, uh, drills on the backhand side, but today we're going to focus on your forehand. All right, guys, before we jump in the first drill uh, to shorten up your backswing, I truly believe without a serve, you will certainly need a shorter backswing. But on the other hand, if you have a really, really, really good serve and you start hitting some aces and you're putting so much pressure, then the backswing will be easier because it's gonna be a lot of short balls, you'll put them away. So take your time and sign up for our free course for your serve to improve power on your serve. It's under a link below. I think you cannot miss it. It's a, such a great opportunity to get something of such a high value, absolutely for free, that we're providing for you. And you guys jump in the link below, just sign up for a course right now. You're going to enjoy all the uh, uh, drills and steps in order to improve your serve. And now let's jump into the first drill. So on the very first, you need some kind of uh, object. It could be a back fence, it could be some kind of pole, or in this case, I'm using the basket as far as uh, it's not something really short or your hand is not going forward. So uh, we're going to start with uh, just getting your racket in the right position where you're supposed to be. So a lot of times people don't even notice, but they have such a big backswing that they take your racket too, too far back. They don't have enough time to get set up. A lot of times they hit uh, too close to everybody and they get jammed. So we're going to start with a few shadow swings because you got to get used to this uh, shorter backswing. Make sure you're, you're going to start, you're going to keep your uh, hand against the cord or whatever that object is. You're going to keep your left hand on the racket. Uh, the face of the racket is going to uh, stay sideways to uh, facing the side fence and you're going to get low. So see in this position, that's how we're going to start and we're going to drop our racket and move forward through the ball. And we're going to do a few times because actually you'll find yourself trying to even push the card back and you'll be like, oh my god, what am I doing here? So if, in order to fix it, you'll have to do quite a few shadow swings. Make sure you start slowly with a nice drop. Keep your hand a little bit on the side so you don't, when you drop your racket, don't hit the card, of course. And you're going to do a few repetitions just to get the swing right. Now you got to get used to it. Make sure you stay relaxed, do not tie it up to your racket. Don't muscle through it. A lot of people start overcompensating. But really, the power is going to come from your legs, your shoulder rotation, and your core rotation. So that's where the power is coming from. In the next step, uh, we're going to take a few balls and we're going to try to fit the ball to ourselves starting in the ready position. So I'm going to be right here. I'm going to toss the ball and we're going to swing through it nice and easy. So we're going to try to get used to that short back swing. We're going to start swinging forward through the ball. Trying to see how it feels, making sure we're still staying relaxed and our racket is coming down. Now a lot of times some people might start too tight and when they swing through the ball, they will feel like you don't get any power, but really you have to focus making sure that you are swinging through the ball. See how I'm rotating my shoulders? Make sure you're not finishing like this, hugging yourself at the end. You want to make sure you have full rotation, otherwise you're going to give up on that idea. you got to use all your body to go through the ball, just like that. And do a few times, just until you feel comfortable with that swing. Uh, in the next step, we're actually going to start facing the net. After we're going to do split step, we're going to get sideways, making sure we have our hand by the object that we put it behind us, and then we're going to swing. So this is going to be a little more dynamic right now. So we're going to start facing the, the net. We're going to split step, turn, and then swing through the ball. And again, split step, turn, and then going through the ball. And again, split step, turn. Here we go. One more time. Turn going through the ball. So you see, we're still taking time, making sure you don't slam that hand against the cord, otherwise you're gonna hurt yourself. 
So do it very slowly, make sure you're in the right position. You do it with yourself. You can have a person fitting to you or you can do it on your own. Uh, get a basket of balls. Just fit the ball. You're going to get that rhythm on your forehand. Now, in the very next step, where actually I'm going to have Aris coming out. He's going to fit the ball to me, so he's going to be even more dynamic now. Uh, he's going to fit a few balls to me. Here we go. And we'll see how it works with me when he's going to fit it, fit the balls to me. So we're going to start. There you go. If you do it right and you relax, you're actually going to generate a little more power because you're going to be a little more consistent hitting the ball on the right point of contact on the sweet spot. The ball is going to hit the sweet spot every time. Your consistency is going to increase. You might hit a little harder if you get bigger backswing, but it's going to be one out of eight, ten shots, especially when your pers uh, the opponent hits a very heavy ball. You're going to be getting late and you're going to have a lot of trouble hitting that ball. So make sure this drill is going to help you out so much to shorten up your backswing. And now let's see how it's going to work on the live ball after we completed the whole series. We're going to hit a few shots and see if it works. All right, guys, so after you complete all the simple drills in order to shorten up your backhand, we're going to hit a little bit and see if you see any difference on the swing. Uh, if you start are feeling a little uncomfortable, go back and review all the drills you have done already and make sure you do them again until it becomes automatic. At the end of the day, the more you repeat it, you're going to have a good muscle memory and you're going to fix that issue. So let's see. Hey. That's it. And then just make sure as you're swinging, stay as relaxed as possible. Very important that you're using your shoulder turn. Because sometimes people, when they shorten up their swing, but they're also staying open. So then, of course, it doesn't make sense. So you want to make sure your shoulders are always sideways. And you can hit the ball out in front using your legs, getting some power on your shots quite nice and easy just like that so you see even if the ball comes fast I can still deal with it with no problem because I have extra time now and hey, just like that so you can see guys it does help you you're gonna still generate a lot of power from that short swing and you can be a lot more efficient on your shots all right, guys, thanks so much for watching our video. Make sure don't forget and jump into the link below to sign up for our serve course. It'll be really beneficial for you to improve your serve and get your game to the whole now level. Now, uh, please write in the comment below is anything you're working on, something you want to improve. We really want to know your opinion about it and what you're looking at not right now. So to help you out as much as we can in the following videos. And thank you so much. Like, subscribe to our YouTube channel.